Okay, just wanted to talk about the differences between the iPad and my Windows 8 Latitude 10 Essential tablet. So there's a definitely some limitations with just having a simple iPad tablet. One thing is uh, if I want to transfer over videos, uh, it's not exactly super fast and easy. Everything needs to be done wirelessly, or if I want to connect something, I have to buy a special connector, and then I can copy it over. Uh, whereas on this tablet, this uh, Latitude 10 tablet, um, I can easily transfer over files just by attaching a USB drive like over here or over here adding some uh, data through the SD card slot so it's really easy to transfer over files and because of that the next thing that I want to mention is that uh, one thing I'd, I like to do with my tablet is I like to do more complicated things like I know you could do this on your computer but Something as simple as uh, encoding a video, I can actually do it on my Windows tablet. Whereas, I think it's possible to do it on an iPad. It's just a little more complicated. And even after you encode it, where would you transfer it or something? Over here, I can just open Handbrake. And once it opens up, I can... Select a file, at Despicable Me, it'll scan it and then I can save it to the desktop as test. And as simple as that, I can encode it. This tablet here is much faster than a netbook or the first generation netbook, so you can encode simple stuff like a two minute HD video you could encode with this. Uh, and so it's nice that I can use something like Handbrake to make a video smaller or something, whereas I think it's possible, it's probably possible on an iPad, but it you have to do some extra tricks to make it work. I could be wrong, sorry if I am, I'll correct that. But uh, out of the box, it's pretty easy for me to copy over files with a flash drive or something and then do whatever I want to it. So that's one thing I wanted to mention, that Handbrake does work on this Windows 8 uh, Pro tablet.